Hello, and thank you very much for taking a little bit of time out of your day to learn more about AAA Northway's upcoming 2024 trip of a lifetime in partnership with AAA Member Choice Vacations to Iceland, experiencing those amazing northern lights November 11th to the 17th, 2024. So much to see on the ground, perhaps up in the sky here as well. Now, remember, any of our travel consultants at any of the AAA branches here throughout AAA Northway are here for you, whether it's up in Plattsburgh or in the Capital Region with Clifton Park, Saratoga Springs, Queenberry, or down in Vestal, we are here for you. So again, just do keep that in post in, in mind here as well. On this trip here, we have uh, AAA Queensberry's own Miss Julie Humphreys escorting this trip of a lifetime here to Iceland as well. Now, my name is Kevin Ferguson. I'm the business development manager for all of upstate New York for AAA Member Choice Vacations. I've been probably working for the company for 16 years, both as a tour manager on the road in the thick of it all, as well as on our sales force. Home base for me is over at Syracuse. People have been asking me, Kevin, when's the best time to go here or there? Trust me, the best time to travel truly is while you can after these last few years of missed experiences and opportunities. And number two is that the Northern Lights, the best opportunity, because it's not an 11-year cycle from peak to, to trough. The best year is going to be 2024. Not until 2035 will we have another great opportunities like this. So do stay tuned on this. All right. Anyways, Triple and Member Choice Vacations was just awarded uh, in the fall of 2023 for the fifth consecutive year as the guided tour partner of the year by AAA National Clubs. That speaks volumes. So again, that has been pre-pandemic, through the pandemic, and emerging from the pandemic here, knowing that, again, you're traveling with quality and you're traveling with uh, a trusted friend out on the road. That's more important than ever. And when it comes to our product philosophy, we are not your grandmother's tour company where you, uh, again, we're living on that motor coach there and one night, one night, one night, one night stays, not on this here as well. So again, philosophy reads just like that here again, making sure that we're maximizing our time and, you know, ticking as many boxes as possible right there. What sets us apart, again, is that tour pacing, having a team that is, uh, you know, with us, you know, throughout the entire time here with you on the ground. And AAA Northway has been doing this trip several years in a row because, Number one, it's very, very popular. It's actually our number one trip in the company of 180 products here. And number two is that it's just done so well. And we have rave feedback here. So if you're interested, definitely make that commitment here for November 2024. Now, being a AAA member, you're going to also have some additional savings here as well. So again, if you didn't use towing or any of the other different services, knowing that you've got a little extra savings uh, helps out always um, in the budget there. All right, let's get right into this amazing journey here, November 11th to the 17th, 2024. And if we start off here with the rich Cap uh, the Steve Caparizzo, uh, Al Roker weather forecast here, on average temperature in Albany on November 11th is 37 and 49. Okay, so in the 30s and 40s. Reykjavik, average temperature, very, very steady, 36 and 37. So it's the same as the overnight low in Albany. It doesn't get much different above that there. Again, we're used to this weather here. Now, also, I want to point out, you're going to be back in well enough time before Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is going to be November 28th here in 2024. So you have plenty of time to get back for the bird, uh, for the turkey and the stuffing and all that other good stuff here as well. Now, where is Iceland located? Yeah, it's up north. And how are we going to get there? So what we're going to do is we're going to take a group transfer from uh, Clifton Park uh, Half Moon office here over to, to uh, uh, Boston Airport. Uh, Logan Airport here, we have direct flights that bring us over to, to Iceland here on this. And it has worked uh, like clockwork over the last several years on this. And we're flying up there way up in the north, as you can see, where Iceland is located, just in uh, reference to the rest of Europe here as well. Now, it looks big and kind of drawn out here on this map, but I want to point out that Iceland is green and Greenland is ice. Only about 10% of Iceland is actually ice, as you can see, delineated out here as well. And don't worry, everybody speaks English in Iceland, so you don't have to worry about a thing. Many other reasons why people want to go to Iceland here as well. Again, from what you see just on the, 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 uh, the slide here itself, some of those reasons, but also the land of contrast. You have a little bit of a lunar landscape with, again, about 130 volcanoes 
30, which are still active, almost looks like the moon. That kind of barren, little to no vegetation, the lava fields, the geysers, the mud pools. You have a bit of Antarctica because, again, about the glaciers there, about one-tenth cover the, con uh, to the, cover the con uh, country itself. The waterfalls that you see posed here, a uh, little bit like New Zealand because there's over 10,000 waterfalls in Iceland here. Plenty of pastoral snow-capped mountains and glacial rivers, just like New Zealand. And of course, Scandinavia, uh, you'll have a feeling like that because again, Reykjavik is a quintessential Nordic city. Now, of course, Iceland created by volcanoes about 25 million years ago here. And we're going to see the word Jokult a couple times, J-O-K-U-L-L, -L, which means glacier. Um, and again, we're going to see uh, the word Vik or V-I-K a couple times here which means harbor or bay. But as I mentioned, everybody speaks English here. Now, this looks a little bit busy on the map. I want to let you know how it goes. First two nights are in Reykjavik. I'm sorry, first night is in Reykjavik. The last night is in Reykjavik. Three nights at one hotel in Vik here in the south. And we'll be doing day trips throughout this journey here as well. Most amount of time that we're on a motor coach for, coach for, for drive time here, roughly about two and a half to three hours, that's when we're going out towards Vik to the east, towards Jokersolun, um, and again, Vik towards Blue Lagoon, uh, there towards the end of the trip. This trip, not too short, not too long, but like Goldilocks and the Bears, just right. Here's where our journey begins here, as I said, in the capital city, Reykjavik. And population here is about 140,000. The population of Iceland is about 340,000 here. And you'll be hard-pressed to find a police vehicle here in the town. It's very, very, very safe, very friendly here. And uh, we will uh, arrive in the morning here. And this is, uh, we're going to have a walking tour later in the morning, be able to get right into our rooms as soon as possible here uh, and have some time to decompress and relax here before our activities continue. But with that walking tour here, we'll get acquainted with the old town here with a local guide. Uh, we'll visit the harbor, the city hall, parliament building, the nearby cathedral that dates back to roughly the 1800s. And we'll gather later for a uh, dinner at a popular restaurant with our fellow travelers here featuring Icelandic cuisine. Now this evening, we'll leave behind the bright city lights. We'll go out on a cruise in the darkness of Foxafoy Bay in search of the Aurora Borealis, or Northern Lights, and one of the nature's one of nature's wonders. We'll be dazzled at the flickering display of lights that burst with colors that unfold right before our eyes. And again, here, this is a cruise that it is weather permitting. If we're not able to do it on our first evening because the weather is not permitting us, we will do it on our last evening when we come back to Reykjavik. Our next day here, we will make our way out of the concrete jungle, so to speak, there of Reykjavik and make our way east towards the Golden Circle, which is a route that encompasses many of Iceland's most renowned natural wonders. We'll step up the famous uh, thermal area known as Geysir or geyser. It's actually the only word in Icelandic that is used in English language here. We'll see Stroker geyser here, again, this explosive vertical spout, which reaches about 100 and 10 to 140 feet or so here. And again, uh, a geyser here, uh, again, uh, being very, very consistent. This erupts every six to 10 minutes. Compared to, to Old Faithful, every 92 to 94, this is even more uh, reliable on this. Now, from here, we will make our way here towards Gulfos Waterfall. Uh, this is Golden Falls here. And again, because on a sunny day, Water truly looks golden once the sun hits uh, the uh, the mist and the spray. Now the falls, they plunge down a three-step staircase, then tumble down two steps into the crevice below here as well on this double cascade. We'll then visit Thangvair National Park, the nation's most historic area, and also a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Now here, Icelanders have gathered back as far as 930 AD, where they established the first parliament on Earth. Still active today here as well. Now, we will find ourselves stepping and standing upon one of the Earth's most geologically significant landscapes right here at Thingvey. So you're not driving out here to go, okay, what am I looking at here as I see on this shot? But we're going to also literally be on the tectonic plates here. Again, this rift valley here marks the Mid-Atlantic Ridge where the North American and the Eurasian tectonic plates 
separate from one another here. This divergent zone here marks the point on our planet where the Earth's crust is the thinnest, making it seismically, seismically active. We will then from here make our way down south and we will stop on route here at the Lava Exhibition Center here. We're going to learn about the history that surrounds Iceland's historic eruptions, along with its current lava flows. We'll get a glimpse into the science behind the volcanic landscape um, and explore an interactive display of artifacts, videos, visual graphics, and more. We'll make a picture stop at Sally Lenskull's waterfall here, which is one of the few waterfalls providing us with a walkway for views from behind the falls. Now, these are nearly... Uh, the walk behind these nearly 200 foot falls here takes about 15 minutes here. Um, so we always say make sure to wear water resistant gear as we feel this considerable amount of mist from the falls uh, here. And again, the natural beauty of Iceland just provides this otherworldly ethereal feel. And this iconic waterfall, it serves as a stunning example of just that. Now we'll continue on to Vik. Now Vik or Vik, this means harbor or bay in Icelandic here. Now it is, uh, yes, we do see a little bit of snow on this picture here. What's the weather going to be like? As I said, average temperatures are in the mid 30s here at this time of year. So we might have a little bit of that white powder on the ground or not um, on this. But this is the place that is not uh, prone to heavy snowfalls. I would say more or less it's known for its wind than anything else ab ab above that here. And uh, we'll be able to get away from the, the light pollution and be able to be in search for those three nights here, uh, venturing out from our hotel out on foot or even just into the parking lot here uh, in search of those, uh, those amazing lights. Now, our next day, we'll begin our day with a journey to Reynes Fiano, which is a black volcanic sand beach scattered with caves and surrounded by these basalt columns here in cliffs. Very reminiscent for those who have been to Northern Ireland here of the Giant's Causeway. Here, we'll admire these mesmerizing pale towers that kind of just jut up from the dark sand here, pinned beside these rocking waves. And the beach is also home to rich bird life, including the fulmar, the black gamo, the razorbill, the gannet, as well as other types of gulls. We'll witness the natural, unique rock formations here at Dorhole Island here. And this rises about 120 feet or so above the water. The peninsula extends out over the Atlantic rock formations here. And the island itself earned its namesake from, again, that towering lava formation that kind of just sticks out of the island here as it were a passageway itself. This is not our hotel, don't worry. This is actually a place called Spielgar, which is a museum which contains an outstanding collection covering all aspects of Icelandic life, including farm and domestic artifacts and more. Now, up until 1948, uh, the majority of Icelanders lived in these turf-built houses. And uh, from then, uh, they were encouraged by the national government to relocate into larger cities. My parents went here a couple of years ago, and I didn't really understand until this time because I, I had not been to Skogar myself. I've been throughout Iceland, but they said the majority of people prior to 1948 lived in homes like these. And now today there's about less than a dozen left uh, on the island and six are located right here at this museum. So very, very impressive. And again, this museum built right around that time, 1948, 1949, and is continuously expanding to this day. Now nearby, we're going to be also visiting to the nearby Skogafoss waterfall here. It extends about 80 feet high, uh, I'm sorry, uh, 80 feet wide, uh, about 200 feet high here. And again, uh, just an amazing uh, viewpoint here as well. Now during our visit, we're going to listen and learn about the Viking settlers who buried treasure in a cave behind the waterfall and much more. So there is more than just scenery. There's a lot of history. We'll talk about literature and its importance, the sagas and much more. We'll cap off our day here to a visit to Somahoku uh, Glacier here, which is actually the fourth largest glacier here within Iceland itself. And after dinner in the peace and stillness of rural Iceland, getting back to our hotel, we'll uh, search for the Aurora Borealis, those elusive northern lights. Again, they're created when ions crash into the Earth's magnetic field, and the different colors are created by different ions. So oxygen, mostly green, nitrogen, mostly orange or red. And each night here in Vik, uh, we'll gaze at the sky in search of those northern lights. This photo is actually taken right from where our hotel is, 
Um, and again, sometimes the dimmer, those red lights of the aurora borealis, too faint for the human eye to see. However, a camera can help pick it up with long exposure settings. But remember, the most important camera is the one right between your temples. It's your eyeballs. Anyways, our next day, we're going to make our way towards Skeptafell National Park over towards the uh Glacier, which is, again, the largest national park in Europe here. And uh, Vatnajökull means water glacier in English here, if it was translated. We'll hear uh, marvel at the alpine environment of Iceland's highest mountains and the glacier itself, which is the largest glacier in the entirety of Europe. Now, we'll then travel to Jokosolon uh, Glacial Lagoon, which means Glacial River Lagoon in Icelandic. It's filled with floating icebergs and much more. And we'll explore this extraordinary landscape, perhaps seeing some of the seals swimming in the, Iceland, uh, the uh, Ar Arctic waters here of Iceland. The icebergs floating are either a stunning blue or cloudy in uh, white in color. And some claims that sections of the ice appear to glisten in the sun like diamonds. So it's often named Diamond Head Beach that we'll be visiting. Now, after dinner, we'll continue searching for the northern lights, dancing across those night skies. And as I mentioned here, coming back to that town there in Vik, having that time to enjoy and explore, it really is nice to be able to have that, a, a nice spot to unpack, use the drawers, stay a while as we take these day trips all out and throughout here as well. Now, from Vik, what we will do is we'll make our way west towards the Blue Lagoon. And depending on day, we might do that lock lava exhibition uh, center here on this day, or as I said on our previous uh, our previous slide here, we might do it on our way down towards feet. Really just depends on how the flow of the day is going. But here we venture out towards the Reykjanes Peninsula here, known for its rugged landscapes, its lava fields, its numerous hot springs, and of course, home to the Blue Lagoon. It's located in the middle of the dramatic lava field here, and this geothermal lagoon contains mineral-rich waters set at a steamy temperature, roughly about 98, 99 uh, degrees there. It's heated by geothermal power plant, adjacent to the pool itself. And we will go inside of the facility. We will be able to change there. And then we actually walk out into the water from inside. So there is not that uh, shock to the body here of uh, being exposed to open air. Uh, if it was, if you were you know, getting out of a lake, for example, the Adirondacks or whatnot. But here again, uh, we will see this white silicone that's along the sides of the uh, of the uh, the shores there, and that's actually silica mud. You can actually apply it to your face. Nowadays, what they do is they actually have it right there in buckets that they supply, and it is an exfoliant here. Leave it on your face for 20 minutes, and you're 25 years younger when you uh, wash it off. Now, uh, again, um, we include a towel, robes, slippers, um, and all that. I'm sorry, robe and uh, towel and robes. Slippers are available for rent. You need to bring your own bathing suit here as well. want to point that out. If you're not a swimmer or not that, uh, you can stay uh, there at the uh, uh, inside the facility there on this. But uh, the water is about four and a half feet tall here. Uh, so again, this is uh, all do very much doable. Now tonight we'll return back to Reykjavik for our farewell dinner and our overnight stay before we fly out our next morning. Again, this trip, not too short, not too long just right here. And again, as we leave Iceland behind, our incredible memories will remain with us forever here. And as a quick recap, included experiences on Iceland's magical northern lights include here in Reykjavik, exploring the town on foot with our tour manager, embarking on an exhilarating northern lights cruise, traveling to the Golden Circle, Things Bayer National Park, Stroker uh, and Geyser, uh, the uh, uh, geothermal features there, Gulfos waterfalls, the list of uh, landscapes, um, and of course the lava exhibition center. Down in Vik, uh, Seliansfos waterfalls, the opportunity of seeing the northern lights each evening, the uh, black sand beach of Reynes Viada, the local delicacies, Skeptafell National Park, and of course the Blue Lagoon, and much, much more. Reminder on all of our air inclusive bookings, we're going to have a hometown hookup right here from. Uh, the AAA uh, Clifton Park Half Moon location, make our way over to Logan Airport, where again, uh, there in Boston, we have a better opportunity of uh, getting direct flights over to Iceland. 
about five hours as the crow fly brings over here, six hours or so, depending on the jet stream. And uh, again, uh, we arrive right there in beautiful Reykjavik our next morning. There are no optional excursions on this trip. So if you've been on tours before where you have, you know, 15 or 20 different options, we want to make sure that the nuts and the bolts were right there here as well. And again, some of our dining experiences, including going to those local restaurants, it's pretty impressive there, especially in these small countries. They're here to help us. We want to make this as authentic as possible. I mentioned this earlier. I want to highlight it again. Our no worries cancel for any reason insurance here. If you have to cancel literally to the day prior, full money back refund, not a coupon, not a travel credit. While on tour, medical assistance, evacuation, delay, theft, baggage loss, all that. Really, it is the peace of mind that you can't put a price tag on here as well. And up until the 12th of May, if you have to cancel for any reason, you're going to get everything back, including, yes, including the insurance from the uh, from the 13th of May to the day prior, if you have to cancel, you get everything back minus the cost of the insurance. That, again, is why they have the insurance. So, again, don't wait. Now, if you've traveled with AAA Member Choice Vacations in the past, thank you. We want to make sure that we've got a little extra savings here for you moving into the future here as well. And, again, you've got the time to, uh, you know, we'll be uh, honoring your loyalty with giving you uh, a, a savings here if you've traveled with us from uh, the uh, fall of 2022, from November of 2022, onwards to this trip in 2024. You do need a passport. So again, when you fill out your registration form, it needs to match exactly what is on your passport. And again, we do have a uh, visa that is going to be due. It has been delayed now until 2025. So we shouldn't have to worry one thing about this uh, this visa here. But again, if you've looked at paperwork about this ETIAS, it has been delayed from 2024 now into 2025. You can find out more at our trip dedicated webpage, which is at http forward slash gateway dot member choice vacations dot com forward slash link forward slash one one nine one nine nine eight. Now, that dinosaur QR code that you're seeing there, that's referring to the Sign Up Now button. That's going to be up there on the top right-hand side of the screen. And right there, as you can see right there, is it listed there proudly. To the right is contact information for AAA Northway and our group's department. Um, but again, you can sign up from your home. I would say if you were working with a specific individual, uh, specific travel consultant, reach out to them and let them know that you applied online, register it online there so that they uh, get that update as quickly as possible. Uh, usually there's about a day or two business, uh, business day lag time in between. So we just always strongly suggest that. But when you click that sign up now button, again, right there on it here, it's very turnkey. And again, drop dot in the I's, cross in the T's. If your middle name is spelled out on your passport, spell it out here on this form here as well. If you don't have a passport yet, leave that section completely blank. Um, or again, as I said, reach out to your travel advisor at any of the AAA Northway branches. The early bird really does get the travel work. So again, by the 12th of May, if you have to cancel or uh, to lock your spot in, it's $200 per person savings, and that's going to be reflected in the price that we see right here. So here's the breakdown on everything. Deposit is $6.98. At the time of deposit is when the cancel for any reason insurance is due, $4.49. That makes it $11.47 respectively there. Now, uh, again, deposits are due by May 12th. Do not wait until spring to make up a decision on this amazing journey here because this sells out very, very quickly. And again, limited spacing, especially for solo travelers. Uh, final payment is due just a little bit more than two months prior to departure. Uh, on August 29th is when the deposits are going to be due for this year again. Again, $35.49 per person, double occupancy. That includes the round trip transfer from Clifton Park to Logan, the round trip air from Boston, air taxes, airport to hotel transfers, hotels, your porterage, 11 meals, nearly a dozen meals included on this here. Again, uh, the double rate, including that 449 insurance, 39.98 is the fast math on that. Solo traveler, 41.49, 600 higher on it here. And again, limited availability. You know the voice in your head that's telling you to travel? Simply put, listen to it. 10 years from now, you'll be so glad that you did. 
What are you waiting for? The best time to travel, my friends, is while you can. Again, reach out to any of our travel consultants here at any of the AAA Northway offices from Plattsburgh to uh, Schenectady, Saratoga, Clifton Park, Queensbury, Vestal, or even virtual. We are here for you. AAA.com forward slash appointment or uh, 877-222-8283. On behalf of all of us at AAA Northway, AAA Member Choice Vacations, um, talk, thank you. Look forward to having you travel with us here and seeing you in Iceland, November 11th to November 17th, 2024.